ask the first question and then we'll switch to online. Um, what a great match today. Kaya is a very tough opponent. So um, just talk us through how you got through that match today. Uh, yeah, it was a, a definitely a difficult match from the beginning to, to the end. Uh, I had to fight for every point. I was even match point uh, down and you know, I thought I was really brave in some, in some moments. So it really, the fight really paid off in the end. Okay. A reminder to those of you online, if you have a question for Donna, please use the raise your hand function. David, your question, please. Hi, Donna. Hey. <laughs> Congratulations on the win. I was wondering if you could talk me through that match point and how what was going through your mind and how relieved you were to and, and how proud you were to kind of go for that when you were in such a tough moment. Um, I was, I was actually pretty. Uh, pissed. I was match point down because the game before I had a couple of uh, break points on her serve and I thought I was uh, playing better. I thought the momentum was uh, switching a little bit towards my side and so I was like, okay, how is it uh, match point? Uh, how am I match point down? I don't want it to be over and I just really uh, went went for my shots and, you know, in the tie break uh, I felt like, okay, this set is mine and in the third set, it, it was it was very up and down. She she was also a little bit up and down, playing some amazing shots and then some errors. I was returning her serve much better in the third set. I was I also started to read it a little bit, which was helpful because in the in the first set I had zero chance on her serve. Kaya has such a reputation of being dangerous at Grand Slams. When you saw that you were going to play her, what were some of your thoughts and what was some of your game plan going in? Well, actually, I I would rather play her than Kenan, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> I beat her already in uh, in US Open a couple of years ago, so I kind of knew what to expect. Uh, but I think she played a little bit better than what I expected today. So uh, I think nowadays you, you never expect an easy match. And I didn't expect an easy match today, but I also didn't expect this stuff. <laughs> You're now in the fourth round. You've made it to the fourth round of every Grand Slam now. What do you make of that kind of achievement and, and, and how happy are you to start your season um, with a result like this? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, I never made second week in Australia, so this was, I think this is my worst uh, slam when it comes to results. Um, and I'm surprised I, I did it this year with the courts being so fast and all that. Um, I don't like this trend of Grand Slams making their courts faster and faster, but uh, maybe I'm going to start liking it from now on. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was just really upset that there's no, there's no crowd today. So I was also, it was kind of also my motivation to, to win and then I guess have to win one more match or two more matches to have crowd again. I don't know. So <laughs> I, I hope to, to have another match here with crowd. But just a point on the court, were there any tactical adjustments you've been making that have been paying off that maybe you didn't expect that you'd have to make in preparation? I mean, it's, it, yes, I definitely had a plan in place today, but she was, you know, she was hitting it so big and so hard sometimes, so it was, uh, it was tough. I, uh, I tried to open up the court to play some angles, but you know when you have bombs coming at you, it's uh, it's it's difficult. So I try to do uh, what I can and just run. <laughs> okay, Courtney, next question, please. Hey, Donna. Hey. Uh, congrats on the win. Uh, I'm curious, going back to your first round win here, um, I, ca I caught the end of that one, and, and your reaction was, was quite one of relief, and I wasn't sure if it was because you got the win, finally got off the slide. I don't know what the emotions were surrounding that, but can you take us back to that moment and what was going on in your mind? Yeah, that was a, that was a huge relief because... Um, Obviously, didn't win a lot of matches before before this week, before this tournament. So you know, and anyway, we had the off season break, and end of last year was so strange. So you know, to have I thought I was playing really good tennis. I thought I improved a lot in the off season, but I just couldn't quite 
get over the edge in my first two matches of this of the season. So I was just really relieved to, to get the to get the first win, and then already in the second round, I felt felt better. So I mean, I think I'm still might sound a bit weird because I'm in the second week, but I think I'm still far from my best best tennis. So hopefully, I can uh, hopefully. I, I can keep improving and I'm I'm happy that I have a chance to play another match. How much did kind of getting that that just, you know, just starting off the tournament with the win, getting, you know, getting the relief of it all and kind of feeling like okay, my season starts now and you know, and and just what has the discussion been like with with Sam and stuff like that to kind of yeah, not let it um yeah, just to make things a little bit lighter, I guess, after that. Um yeah, but you know, after I was I was really relieved for like a couple of hours, but then I was already uh, focused on my next match, which is something like a couple of years ago. Maybe I would be like I would still be riding the hype for a couple of days, and I'm like, oh, I'm out of the tournament. <laughs> so it's it was just uh, it was like that, uh, just you know, happy, enjoyed it for a couple of hours, and then it was straight focus to the to the next next round, and it was the same with the second round, and I'm sure it'll be the same. Um, uh, same now. We're actually staying in, in a house uh, this week, so this turn the whole time in Australia. So it's uh, it's really good to be all together, especially now now that Melbourne is in is in lockdown. Uh, I'm gonna be cooking from now on. <laughs> and um, have you been asked about playing Jen yet? If you have, I won't ask it. But uh, no. Uh, well, okay. I think that yeah, they asked me on court. Um, I mean, I, I, who, who did she beat today? Yuvan. Uh, Yuvan, uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know what? Everyone's playing great tennis. <laughs> At this point, there is a... I, I keep saying it in the last couple of months, years, there's no easy matches on the WTA Tour. There's no easy opponents. Everyone's playing really good tennis. So I think every match you have to be ready for a battle. Cool.